Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 868. And if you want to download this workbook 867 to 868, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have a data set, and I want to conditionally format the entire row. Anytime we have not type 1 in this column, and the age is between 15 and 19. So you can see these, th these two records here should be the entire row should be colored some, some formatting. Now in our last video, we saw how to do averaging based on not and between criteria. This video, we'll just see how to do conditional formatting. Now it's going to involve a formula, a true-false formula, and we'll paste it up into the conditional formatting dialog box. But sometimes it's easy easier to actually build your formula in the cells, see if it works, and then copy and paste the formula up into the dialog box. So let's try it. We're actually going to use the AND function. The AND function is great. You can have um, many logical tests, and we have three. Our first one is, hey, is the product. And notice this, ha this formula has to give a true, true, true for the entire row. So I'm going to lock this cell reference using the F4 key and lock the column reference, but not the row. That means as the formula copies over here from this cell to this cell and to this cell in the di formatting conditional formatting cell dialog box, it'll remain locked. But when it goes down, it'll go to the next product. So anytime that is not, not is less than, greater than, equal to that, and I'm going to lock that in all directions. That's the first logical test. It comes out true or false. The next one is age. I'm going to say the age, same thing here. Lock the column reference anytime that is greater than or equal to the lower limit. And I'm going to lock that in all direction. And then same, I have to ask this, the same uh, cell a uh, slightly different question. Lock this one, though, column, but not the row. And this one has to be less than or equal to the upper limit locked in all direction. And that is our formula. And using three uh, logical tests, notice when we have between criteria, there's, a, there's always two, an upper and a lower, uh, and mixed cell references. So now we copy this over, and we will see how this is going to work inside of the dialog box. Because when you do conditional formatting, you take this formula and paste it, but it does it all in memory. This is just a trick for as you're creating it to see that, it yes, it will work. You delete this and not have this there, right? So now, very carefully, the formula in the uppermost left corner, I'm going to copy it in edit mode, escape, highlight this, Alt-O-D, Alt-O-D, new rule, use formula, Control-V and then whatever formatting you want. I'm going to do fill red, so since that's a dark value, I'm going to pick a light font color. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And now if we change this, if I change this to 2, so it would be not 2 between this age category. If I said uh, between 15 and uh, 35, I would get uh, some more not twos and in our age category. All right, see you next trick.